Let's take a closer look at UI scroll view. Apple documentation declares that the UI scroll view class provides support for displaying content that is larger than the size of the application's window. In this case, we'd be talking about our iPhone screen. It also enables users to scroll within the content by making swiping gestures and to zoom in and back from portions of the content by making pinch gestures. So by pinching on our screen, we can zoom in and out on our application or our scroll view. There is a major design issue that comes up with scroll views. And the question becomes, is the user trying to scroll or interact with a view object on our scroll view? So if we had a button on our scroll view, say, and we were pressing that button, are we trying to scroll or are we trying to press that button? Well, Apple actually handles this functionality for us. And what happens is there's a timer that tracks how far the user drags. And if they drag far enough on our screen, the scroll view knows that it should scroll and it deactivates any uh, touches on our subview or a button, for example, on our scroll view. There's also a really cool property on scroll view called content size, which is the total area that you're able to scroll over. So here we see that we've set our content size quite large so that we have a lot of space we can scroll over. Um, the home page actually on iOS 7 has been implemented using a scroll view. So that's the area where we have all of our applications. And you can pan to the left to get to the unlock screen. The scroll view does most of the work adding pan gestures and zoom itself, which is really helpful when we're trying to create these images that we want to be able to uh, show on our screen, but our screen size is obviously limited um, in terms of how much real estate we have to work with. Another cool feature of UI scroll view is the ability to page. If we simply set the property of to paging enabled is equal to yes, the scroll view will stop on multiples of the scroll view scroll views bounds. Well, what does this mean? Think about our home screen again, where all of our applications are loaded. You can scroll to the left and the right, and the swipe locks onto the screen. All of this is implemented in our UI scroll view.